Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games, and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing another plugin showcase tutorial. In today's plugin tutorial, we're going to be doing a plugin called Blood Moon Advance. Blood Moon Advance is an amazing new premium plugin that is entering the Minecraft plugin market right now. Blood Moon Advance is an amazing new plugin based on the existing Blood Moon Minecraft mod, but now it's a plugin. The Blood Moon plugin has many new amazing features such as custom mobs, items, life cycles, actions, events and much more. If you don't know what any of that meant, stay tuned because I'm going to be going over all of that in the Blood Moon Advanced tutorials. Okay guys, welcome to the official Blood Moon Advanced tutorials. I'm going to be splitting these tutorials up into a few different videos. The video you're watching right now is the basic overview video. If you're new to the plugin, I highly suggest giving this one a watch. The other videos will be custom items and mobs in-depth tutorial, life cycles and actions in-depth tutorial, and custom events in-depth tutorial. I'm hoping to have all the other tutorials out within the next week. As soon as they come out, they will be in the top of the description and also in the iCard on the top right hand corner of your screen. Let's get right into it, shall we? Okay guys, jumping onto my server here, um, I'm gonna MVTP to the world that I have set for this plugin tutorial. Now, first things first is the default world that Blood Moon will be in is not this world. So we're gonna have to jump into our config. Okay guys, jumping straight into the plugin config. So we're gonna be going to the config.yml to start off with. We wanna be changing the enabled world to the world we're at. Now I've found that this is case sensitive, so be aware of that when you're putting this in. So I've, my world is called Blood Moon. And then I've hit save on the file. Okay, now jumping back into the game, we go slash blood moon reload. Hit the blood moon reload command. And now if we set the time to night slash time set night. And then if we do slash blood moon start, we'll start the blood moon and the blood moon is rising. And as you can see already, there's lots and lots of mods starting to spawn in now they spawn in in a special algorithm which i'll put the algorithm on screen right now um, and that's the algorithm they spawn in so that's the progressively spawn in rather than all at once but as you can see there's already tons of custom mobs here so this guy's this guy's called the what are you called show your name tag this guy's called the magic skeleton this guy's called the blazing cube oh, we have a wither over here we have a soldier and these ones are the annoying ones, the baby boo-boo. They actually do a lot of damage. Now, if I hit GMS right now, um, I don't think I'll survive for too long. Oh my god. Oh no. Run! 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 Oh no, it's a baby boo-boo. This is the one that's, uh, that's kind of annoying. But that's just the example of that. So if we go... In. Okay, so that's an example of that. So next, what we'll want to change in the config is... So we've got block portal at true, which means they can't go through portals. Block sleeping means they can't sleep. We've got that at true. And change difficulty at true. Now, dip, by default, the difficulty gets set to hard. I'd keep it at that. Blood Moon Chance. This means the chance that a Blood Moon will spawn every night. Uh, the default is 20. I'd put it at about 10. So one every 10 nights. Um, on average, the uh, moon should, Blood Moon should come. Um, harvest Failure Chance means uh, if you harvest a crop, uh, it doesn't harvest properly. Lightning strike chance is when there's a thunderstorm, uh, you know, when there's lightning in a thunderstorm, it'll actually have a 20% chance of directly hitting you. Um, I'll keep that at that because thund thunderstorms aren't too common. So 50% uh, lightning hit here or near chance. So if the lightning misses on that 20%, then that means it wouldn't hit 
near the person 50% of the time, so just like a fright. Um, monster spawn limit is the amount of monsters that can spawn. Now, I think the default limit of 160 is a bit overkill. So, I normally would probably pop that down to about 120. The default for bucket is 70, I believe. Um, now, start commands enabled. Stop commands enabled. Mob despawn effect sound is a death or a with a death. Um, which that means that when the blood moon is over and all the mobs despawn, um, that would play a with a death. So let's just stop the blood moon over here. Slash blood moon stop to give you an example of what that sounds like. So blood moon stop. And that's what that sounds like. And that's the sound that it would make when the blood moon stops. And the particle is a spell mob. Bell warnings. Now, bell warnings is like before the blood moon happens, uh, there's going to be like a bells chiming in the distance, kind of like a clock tower in the distance, just to give you a bit of a warning. Blood moon's coming, and uh, the count is is how many separate times the bell will chime. Now, resource pack um, for enabled and disabled. So if you put this to true, the blood moon will actually go red. So I'm going to set it like that because that's the custom resource pack mod mob in block um you want to have this and able to tr as true and for the custom ones it's stone there's a 10 percent chance of getting a silver fish when mining stone so it's basically uh mob spawn blocks so um just like when you're mining stone near the end portal uh, you have like a chance of getting silver fish this is then for all stone and when you're black mining a magma block you have a 100% chance of getting a magma cube now that's a little bit overkill so I'm gonna put that to a 50% chance you never want really gonna want to be mining a magma block when you're in the blood moon anyways and excluded mobs is mobs that won't get replaced with the blood moon so this is useful for if you've got like a mob farm if we hit save on this file and we hit blood moon reload we should know notice some differences okay i was having some difficulties uh just because the sun's rising now so let's set the time to set slash time set day night so we'll set it back to night and we'll do slash blood moon start and the annoying thing is this loading bar for the texture pack will come up every single time the blood moon starts but you can already see there's a significant down or like decrease in mobs. Um, not that big. Uh, you can lower this even more. Uh, so that means per chunk, uh, there's a maximum of 110 mobs now. I think that's what we set it to. Let me check. 120. 120 mobs. Which is a 40 decrease from what we had before. And it's a little bit noticeable. And so yeah, so my only uh, complaint so far is that the texture pack has to be loaded and also unloaded. So if we do slash blood moon stop each time it has to do this, which is a bit annoying, but um, I'm sure the developer can probably get a fix out for that. It's not even released at the time that I'm recording this video, so... It's still in early beta, so. Now I'm gonna give a quick look at some of the um, other configs and go over them briefly, but I'm not gonna do too much in them because they are, of course, for the separate videos. Okay, let's go into the mobs file here. And here you'll see all the different mobs we have. We have the reinforced creeper, the baby boo boo, which I'm gonna just knock his percentage of spawning from 10% all the way down to 3% because I'm really, I don't like him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to reduce his speed as well. He's quite a quick one. And um, we've got baby set to true, which of course is a baby zombie. His type is zombie. He's got 30 health and he's got a 3% chance of spawning. Um, and his items are a helmet, chest plate, le leggings, boots, and zombie sword, uh, which is zombie sword here is a custom item which we'll go through the custom item config next but let's take a look at something else like a blaze here we have um 
Blaze is Fire Warden. Percentage of spawning, 20%. The Blazes aren't too bad, so that's perfectly fine. Health, 30. Speed, 1. And Life Cycle, Fire Warden. Now, Life Cycles are something that we're going to go into um, next, or right after items. So just keep in mind this Life Cycle Warden, which we'll be looking at the Life Cycle Warden in a second. And Life Cycles is basically... Um, it's linked in with custom attacks that these uh, mobs can actually do. So that's all we're going to go through in that config here. Let's go into the items config. And here we just have all the different items. So uh, you've seen a reference before to the zombie sword. So where's that? Zombie sword. It's a diamond sword with sharpness 5 and fire aspect 2. And that's what the, um, the baby doo-doo is holding. Now, I think that's a little bit overpowered. It kills me all the time. So I'm going to knock down that, that down to a sharpness 3 and hit save. And now the zombie doo-doo guy will only have a sharpness 3 sword rather than a sharpness 5 sword. And you can mess around with this. But I'll be doing more in-depth tutorial on that as well. Um, next, we'll be coming over to life cycles. Life cycles are an event-based timeline that might or will, depending on how you set it up, happen in the timeline of the mob so i'll put an image up on screen of how they kind of work the developers left a nice image for us um but they're kind of throughout the life of the mob as you attack them they might give you these different like attacks basically special it's like a special attack on a boss fight so um we remember back in the mobs config, we had the fire warden actions. So this guy can do these different attacks. And we'll talk more about how these attacks work and what they do in the in-depth video for that. Now, actions, they link into the um, life cycles. And um, I think here uh, we have a fire warden messages. And this is, um, it'll he'll talk in chat. He'll say, you fool, you didn't get me. Did you ever taste a burnt skin? And then he'll say all that. And that will happen. I'm assuming that was in the um, life cycles file. Back to fire warden. We have fire warden messages. And that's when he says that. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail because this is just a quick setup tutorial it's not how to customize everything fully it's just a tutorial so here's how you put this plugin on your server and get started off if you want to get more in detail with custom mobs you'll have to come back for the other episodes um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's youtube video make sure you smash the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications and uh also check out some other plugins by this developer his uh, name is mr general q um on spigot and he has some other plugins. I did a plugin on him the other day called Easy Broadcast. See ya.